How's it going everyone? Uh, my name is uh, Miguel Fuentes and I am the uh, online campus pastor at United Church Online. Um, <clears throat> excuse me for my voice here. I've been singing and uh, could not... Probably need to drink some more water. Amen. As you may know, today is Halloween, and today's topic, I'm going to be talking about how Halloween is evil. And this is a disclaimer, this is not for Gentiles or, or Western Christians. This is for only those who are a part of the kingdom of God, a uh, kingdom man or kingdom woman who seriously... Uh, have a relationship with God. Um, this, is, this is nothing to be messing around with, basically. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this time together, Lord, as we get into your word. Father, help us, Lord, to, to expose evil, Lord. Help us, Lord, to hate the things that you hate, Lord. And uh, I pray that help us, Lord, to become a peculiar people, people who are different, people who are a part of the kingdom of God that you have been establishing throughout the ages. And Lord, we thank you for the opportunity not only to expose Halloween, Lord, but to bring the gospel to those who want to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. And we thank you. We we praise you. We, we glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, today, again, today's topic, how Halloween is evil. Or, Halloween is evil, rather. And I'm going to be reading some, a uh, couple of scriptures here. <clears throat> the first I'm, I'm going to read out of the Torah, uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31 and then Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 20 verse uh, 6 and then verse 27 so if, we, if you can turn with me in Leviticus chapter 19 Leviticus chapter 19, verse, uh, verse 31. I'm going to be reading out of, uh, I'm going to be reading uh, in context, context there. Um, we'll start with verse 30 and then from there, 32. You shall keep my Sabbaths. And, and render my sanctuary, I am the Lord. Do not turn to spirits through mediums or necromancers. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. You shall rise up before a gray head and honor the face of an old man and fear your God. I am the Lord. Um... <clears throat> chapter, uh, same thing, chapter 20, same book, chapter 20, verse 6. Um, the people who turn to spirits through mediums and necromancers in order to whom after them, I will even set my face against that person, and I will cut him off from among this people. So, among his people. Consecrate yourselves therefore and be holy for I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my statute and do them. I am the Lord who sanctified you. Okay. And then again in, in uh, verse 27. Actually then we read uh, 20, 26 verse. You shall be holy unto me, for the Lord 
um, <clears throat> sorry, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have separated you from other people from other peoples, that you should be mine. A man or a woman who speaks to spirits as mediums, so as a medium or a necromancer, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them, their blood guilt shall be upon them. Interesting. Let's let's look at uh, Deut Deuteronomy chapter eighteen, one of my favorite chapters in Scripture. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter eighteen, verses nine through thirteen. When you enter into the land which the Lord your God gives you, you must not learn to practice the abominations, the key word, abominations, of those nations. There must not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire. And in layman's term, uh, sacrificing human beings. Uh, abortion is sacrifice, which which is still going on today, sadly. Oh, who uses divination, or use witchcraft, or in or an interpreter of omens, or sorcerer, or one who casts spells, or a spiritualist, or an occultist, or a necromancer? For all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God will drive them out from before you. And you must be blameless before the Lord your God. Okay. So we see here that God laid down the rules here. If you're going to be a part of the kingdom of God, you should not practice these things, especially for today. <clears throat> and then turn with me in 1 Samuel chapter 28. It's gonna be good. In context here, Saul. No, oh, sorry. Uh, the prophet Samuel passed away, and Saul wanted to seek Samuel uh, for instructions, even though he's dead. And so Saul went out to seek a medium, which that is a no-no. In God's standard. First Samuel chapter 28 verses 3 through uh, 19. And it reads. Now Samuel died and all Israel mourned him. And they buried him in Raham, his own city. And Saul had removed the mediums and the necromancers from the land. Then the Philistines uh, gathered themselves together, and they came and camped in Shoram. So Saul gathered all the Israel together, and they camped in Galboa. When Saul saw the camp of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart uh, trembled greatly. Saw uh, in quest of the Lord, but the Lord did not answer him by dreams, or by lot, or by prophets. Then says Saul to his servants, Seek for me a woman who is a medium, that I must go to her and inquire of her. And his servant says to him, There is a woman medium 
in Ender. So Saul disguised himself and put on other clothes. And he went with two of his men. And they came to the woman by night and says, and sorry, and, see, and he says, Please divine for me by a spirit and bring up for me whom I will name to you. The woman says to him, Listen, you know what Saul has done, how he has eliminated the mediums and necromancers from the land. Now why are you lying a trap for my life to cause my death? Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, no punishment will, will happen to you for this time, for, for this thing. Which is a lie. <laughs> Saul lies, man. Tell you. Then the woman then said, "The woman whom I bring up for you." He says, "Bring up uh, Samuel for me." When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice, and the woman says to Saul, "Why have you deceived me? For you are." Saul, the king says to her, Do not be afraid. What did you see? And the woman says to Saul, I saw a divine being ascending out of the earth. He says to her, What is his appearance? She said, An old man is coming up, and he is covered with a robe. And Saul perceived that it was... It was... Uh, Samuel, and he kneeled with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Samuel says to Saul, Why have you uh, roosted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am greatly distreated, dist uh, dist for the Philistines make war against me. And God had to part from me and does not answer me any longer by prophets or by dreams. Therefore I have come to, I have called you that you may make known to me what I should do. Then said uh then said uh um Samuel why then do you ask me? Since the Lord has departed from you and has become your enemy, the Lord has done for himself as he spoke by me. The Lord has torn the the, 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 the kingdom from your, from your hand and has given it to your neighbor David. Hmm. Interesting. Let me check here. Okay. The Lord has done for himself as he spoke by me. The Lord has torn the kingdom from your hand and has given it to your neighbor David. As you did not obey the voice of the Lord and did not carry out his fury wrath against the Archonites, therefore... The Lord has done this thing to you this day. And moreover, the Lord will deliver Israel with you unto the hands of the Philistines. And tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. The Lord will, de will also deliver the army of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Whew. So. We know for a fact that King Saul created this evil sin that he that he caused himself to do. And we know for a fact he committed suicide during with the battle with the Philistines. So what we read here number one, why Halloween is evil? Why? 
This is the this is the one day that they celebrate Satan. Uh, uh, Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan and the author of the Satanic book, or sorry, the, the, the Satanic Bible, he says, I'm glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Let me repeat that. I'm glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. See, Halloween is a very dark holiday. This is where all the witches, all the warlocks, all the Satanists go out to do human sacrifices to Satan. Or to cast spells or do whatever you can because back in uh the ancient uh the ancient uh how do you say this? Um Okay. Back in the ancient um Ireland and in in the UK basically there were the Celtics. And the Celtics worship many gods, and the one thing that they worship is San is Sam Hain. The Druids, which is are are the the Celtics high priests, well, you know, on Halloween they, they celebrate San Sam Hain that they go door to door seeking out the youngest Innocent uh, sacrifice, basically. Uh, the Druids were often, and, and sometimes they refer as the mighty, the mighty man of Yo uh, sorry, the mighty man of oak, and they they, they uh, carry these uh, long uh, uh, oak staff and stuff, and they believe that they carry magical powers. So, every Halloween, every Saint Hain, uh, they would do a sacrifice. And once the sacrifice has been made, they will carve a jack o' lantern with a turnip and place it on the front of the door, symbolizing that you know the spirits see that they made that sacrifice and all that. But if they refuse to give their innocent child to be sacrificed, they would put on a upside down pentagram. And one night, one of the family members will be feared to death, basically. And these druids have been feared throughout the land. So. So 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 that's a little bit of uh, of of the uh, a little bit about this uh, religion, the Celtic religion, or, or the history of Halloween, basically. Uh, not only that, Halloween is known for being fear. They love either going to haunted houses and get scared. Oh, no, I mean, not, not the actual haunted house with spirits, but like with, you know, decorations and stuff and people popping out, you know, those, those haunted houses. Fear is the number one thing that Halloween is known for. We got horror films. I remember back in the day uh, when I was a kid, you know, I love Halloween. You know what I'm, you know why I love Halloween back in those days? Candy. I always want candy. Not because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm 29 now. Looking back, you know, I, I I regret for celebrating Halloween back in those days. And so I I learned when when I when I was born again, came to the Western Christianity churches. They say doing that the same thing. They still dress up. They still do 
what the world does, but they call it something different, like trunk or treat or fall fair or why not. And once I come out of Western Christianity, I I realize you know, this this these you know these pagan holidays as they call it. We we should not be celebrating Halloween at all or any type of fashion of Halloween. See see October the day where there's gonna be a lot of mass shootings. Or child abductions, getting ready for the human sacrifices. Recently, uh, there's a church in Jamaica. Uh, I think it was an international crime uh, compilation. And this pastor is doing human sacrifices inside that church. And he said that he is a prophet of God. Folks, that, that, that's evil. And I don't know what that prophet is doing. But they deceived the people to the point that I think I think two got killed so far, and the pastor got killed uh, in a car accident. But these things are real, man. People are getting killed left and right. We've seen a lot of horror films like uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like Freddy Krueger type of thing, or Jason, or Michael Myers. I'm sorry, Michael Myers with the Halloween movies. Um, uh, or or any other gory. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> or any other gory. Um, movies that is out there. See, this holiday is for Satanists, warlocks, and witches, or voodoo, or those who practice voodoo. But yeah, God warns us about this, and in, in in the Torah, and and in the Western Christianity. They, they don't really believe in the Old Testament. They don't, just only believe in the, in the New Testament. And yet they miss the whole part. They miss the whole part of why we got to obey the Word of God. They, they just want to be feel you know, they, they, they just want to be feeling good. That's all. But number two is that be ye holy. Unto the Lord. Be ye holy unto the Lord. You know, it is time to pray against witchcraft and, and spells and all these things. Uh, casting out demons in Jesus' name. And to shine the light for Christ. We should not practice the occultic things. We see, for, we, we see that people are committing... Uh, people who do ghost hunting and I and I've seen a lot of paranormal videos on YouTube they try to uh, connect with somebody who is already dead probably they got upset I don't know and you know they, they try to communicate the dead using uh, what's called ghost meters uh, doing a electronic voice phenomenon or uh, or EVP ghost uh, sorry uh, spare box sections and all these things Ouija boards those stuff are dangerous man and and I've been through the paranormal stuff so um, I've been through you know you know I'm done with spirits not only that it, the funny thing is that Spirits can follow you around. The familiar spirits, as they call them. They will follow you around. Even even, even if you said, you know, do not follow us, do not attach equipment or us and stuff like that. They're still going to follow you. They're still going to follow you. 
That's why that's why I don't practice the occult things. They're 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 freaking evil. Which that reminds me of Second Corinthians chapter six, which is my favorite favorite scripture. Second Corinthians chapter six, verses sixteen through eighteen. <clears throat> he says, "What agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I I will live in them and walk in them. I will be their God, and they will sh and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them." And be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Mighty. I love that scripture. This is a reminder that we need to be separate from this world. Now, on the other side, we should be evangelizing. We should be spreading the gospel and onto this world and be the light of this world. Amen? You know, my, my last point is that this is the perfect opportunity to evangelize. You know, even, even if it is, it, it's uh, as simple as passing out gospel tracts with one, one or two pieces of candy inside a bag. You know, hopefully, hopefully they can read read that gospel track and hopefully get saved. Amen. Or or have a understanding. And and as I meditate on this particular scripture. We got to come out. We, we, we got to come out of these beliefs about Halloween. And just be separated. Be separate. And I am very, um, you know, I'm, I'm very serious about my, about my walk with the Lord. It's it's just nothing but evil. Even even God warns us through the Torah that we need when we, we should not be pressing these things. Now I know for a fact in the Book of Enoch we we see these evil angels, these uh, watchers. Uh, not only do they have sex with women and married women. And and form and, and birth giants in the land and devouring mankind. This is like Attack on Titan, you know, type of thing. If you see that anime, um, and 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 really, the the these evil angels also taught them how to do. Astrology, how, how to do necromancy, and how to build swords and knives and all that stuff for warfare. And that's why God flooded the whole world. Because this world is not but evil. But as a kingdom man, I gotta be separated from them. I, I don't want nothing to do with Halloween. I don't, you know, I, unless unless I'm trying to evangelize them, that's that's okay. But putting on Halloween decorations or uh, watching horror films, 
or or shows or or any other or any other thing that got to do with Halloween I definitely don't want nothing to do with it at all and by God's grace I will be I will be separated from this world amen so I hope you guys enjoyed this teachings hope you guys enjoyed this this sermon this word take care of yourselves choose this day whom you will serve amen so may God bless you may God keep you I'll see you guys again next time